Hello everyone, Ongbi Gaming here and welcome back to the channel. So today we are here for part 3 of Beginner's Guide to Liberty County. Now I'm sorry I haven't uploaded this uh, series in a while. Um, it's just been very different. I've been doing a lot of different videos recently. But I um, hope you understand. And um, yeah, I will be trying to upload these uh, every two times a week probably. Um, but anyway, today we're going to be talking about um, the new updated GUIs, where everything is, and all of that stuff. So basically covering everything new and um, all of that. So I've done this in a video, but I haven't showed you um, all of it. So today I'm just going to be giving you a guide to everything, basically, all the new things. And you see here we've got our uh, basic car here. So anyway, thank you so much for the support recently on the channel. It has been amazing and um, I really appreciate it. And if you have not already, please make sure to subscribe um, to um, help out the channel. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so now when you go into your car, when you enter your car, you now have this GUI at the bottom of your corner. And um, you've got the health and the stamina, but not only that, you've also now got car health. So let me just... Um, go and run into a lamppost quickly and let's see okay that was actually a, that was actually a wall but anyway you can see here now that the health has gone down by a substantial amount and this will keep going down um but so as you can see there it went down again Okay, so this new system is basically when you hit anything whether it's a building lamppost tree um, anything like that, house, uh, when you hit any of those, um, a, an amount of health will be taken off of your car total health. So this will depend on a few factors, how fast you're going, the angle you hit, and also like, um, like if it's like a house, then if you hit it on the side, so basically where you hit it. So they're all the, like the factors, um, but there is just, um, it was that it was like that before, but we just didn't have the car health shown to us. We you couldn't see what our car health was on. Anyway, that is just that. So um, it's basically just showing you what your car is doing at the moment, how it's going. Um, so that's that's pretty nice. Anyway, another thing is that if we now go over to our menu GUI, you can now longer see there is now no longer a store tab up here. So, in order to get um, things from the store tab, okay, there is two places you need to go if you're a civilian. So we'll talk about civilians first and we'll talk about other teams later. If you are a civilian and uh, you would like to get or you'd like to purchase a lockpick, uh, you now head over to this tool store. Now, I've shown you in a video where this is, but if you do not know, this is located, um, it's just around the back of the hospital on the road um, with the sheriff station there and the bridge is over there. So that that's where it is. It's pretty, pretty um, in the center kind of of the map. The housing suburbs over there, if you can see. Uh, yep. Yeah. And uh, anyway, we go in here. We'll just come in and there's this desk place and it says it should say e shop tools and all you need to do then is press e on your keyboard and you have the choice to buy an rfid disruptor and a lock pick now there this is really nice like it's it's good for role playing but the problem here is if you want to go over to a house and rob it and say you've got the lock pick you're going over to house, you're doing the uh, the thing where you have to match up the pins, um, but then you don't make it. You have to drive all the way back here, but then all the way back. But to be honest, it is quite conveniently placed near the housing club, but that's just something I find a bit annoying. But um, yeah, it is nice. It's a really nice looking store, very detailed. I wonder if this is going to have something in the future, whether you can actually like, br like a delivery team, I don't know, or something. That would be... That would be so amazing. We've just got stuff over here. Just got shelves, you know. Not nothing too uh, detailed, but um, I, I do like the the fact that they have shelves in here and just just a bit of stuff. So that's pretty nice. Imagine if you could be the yeah, that would be nice. Anyway, seen lots of role plays going on with that. Anyway, if you would like now to have a gun, like to purchase a gun of any 
of any kind as a civilian. All you need to do is head up this road, uh, so past the sheriff's station. Um, it's by the fire station, so you can see the fire station over there. And there is now a gun store. <clears throat> this has been in the game for about three weeks now, so a lot of you probably already know about it. But if you do not, then here it is. Let's just come on over and uh, do some lovely parking. Wow, okay. Lovely. Anyway, come over here. The You can see the fire station is over here. Uh, and um, I will leave a link in the description for a map that you can find. So it's basically just a, um, a bit like this map. You can find it on Google anyway. Um, but it's basically this map. And uh, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty cool. So uh, if you need to know any places, uh, you can see here they have updated it. So you've got the gun store and the hardware store on there. So um, if you need to know where you go, like I remember the first week I was playing this game, I, I had no idea where anything was, and um, I just like, yeah, this was this was basically what I used to get around. Anyway, the gun store is here, Liberty Guns and am Ammunition. Got a few chairs over here, pretty nice. Um, I didn't, I we did a nice role play here in here um, about two weeks ago now, and it was really really fun with Amaze and Noxicide and loads of others so massive shout out to everyone who helped that was a great great success that was one of our best uh, roleplay videos we've done uh, anyway if you come in here uh, you can see there's gun guns on the wall and uh, other guns in here and if you want to buy a gun you it's the same thing uh, just press e on your keyboard and you can come in here now they've got all the guns that were uh, in the store tab but um, now they are just um, here, so you can come over and buy them. And uh, it, it works just like a normal gun. So let's just buy the uh, Gale Assault Rifle. So if we want to buy those, that's fine. And then if we run out of rounds, you can always bag, buy a mag refill there. And if we come into this room at the back, there is actually a shooting range. So this is really cool. Uh, a few few YouTubers have already done a video, like roleplay videos. And basically, if we come over here, uh, and stand back behind one of these uh, things. You can shoot these people. Okay, that that wasn't a good aim. But look at this. And when when you shoot these uh, these um, like figures, um, the body part that you hit, so either the legs, the body, or the head, will light up. As you can see, I have no idea where my bullets are going. I think I'm a bit too close. But um, yeah, let, let's go on one of the further ones. But as you can see there. And then if I hit the head, let's try and aim this up. There you go. I hit one. <laughs> that was uh, nice. <laughs> anyway, um, these are ammo boxes, but you can't get anything from them. And there's just like different ones. So if you want a short range, a medium range, and then a long range over there. So that's really nice. Um, and um, yeah, so adds adds a role play feature to this. Now, if you want to... If you, want, if you are on the police team or sheriff team and you would like to purchase a gun, you cannot get them from the Liberty Guns and Ammo store. If we go on to the police team, let's just change them to River City Police. Um, if we change over here, we'll be brought into the uh, change rooms as normal. But uh, as you can see now, at the end, there is this gun rack place basically so this is like in real life um where you'll have your guns except it would be in a bit more of a secure room anyway you can come over here what you do is press e to access the armory and um as a cadet so once you when if you just bought the game you'll be able to access the pistol um as an officer you'll be able to access the shotgun and the gale assault rifle as a sergeant I have access to all of these, um, but um, as you start off, you only be able to access to the pistol. And I find this really interesting, and it's actually really cool because um, you can unlock them as you go up, and it's another thing, um, except for the cars, which you can't unlock. And so, for example, we if we get a Gale of Sulfur for here, so you can see here, I've now got it in my inventory. Let's just go and shoot a few times. Um, we can now come over, and you can see I've got 22 out of 106, where you can refill that, um, re refill uh, your ammunition for free. You do not have to pay for these, and you don't have to pay for these guns, which is really nice. So as a, as a police officer, 
uh, you you these are basically free, so that is nice. Um, let's just go over to the sheriff's office and quickly show you where those are. It's basically in the same layout, just in a different room. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's the same over here. You get your guns over here. You can get them, and uh, there is the ammunition box. You need it, um, and you can also get them from there. Anyway, that that is uh, all for the those teams. And uh, nothing else has really changed concerning all of that. So it's been it's been pretty nice um, to have those updates <clears throat> to add a bit more realistic stuff to the game, which is which is always nice because um, as a role play game, you want to um, make it more realistic and as realistic as possible, which is basically your aim. Um, so that is that is really nice and um, i hope you've enjoyed watching if you have please make sure to um, subscribe if you can to help out the channel and thank you so much for all the support recently it has been amazing um, i will keep going with this channel i will try and upload a bit more regularly um, because i know a lot of uh, people have been supporting this uh, series so i will upload more regularly um, so you should see these on the channel a bit more Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!